Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about the trailer that is going to be coming sometime in the next week or so. And we're going to be talking about what to expect in terms of footage, like what specific scenes are we going to see in those trailers from what we know about Season 7 so far. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year and heading into next year as we try and reach 150,000 subscribers by the end of next year. Obviously the shows haven't been on so it's been a bit slow but it would help out if you watch through all of these videos all the way at least as far as you can to the end because it helps getting recommended. Also tweet out about the videos every time they're released so people can find out about the channel if they are new and if they like the shows. Also please be sure to follow me on Twitter and the DCTV show to stay up to date with me. I'm always over there so give me a follow and remember live stream is on Tuesday this week not Thursday because Thursday is New Year's Eve. So without further ado, this is all the updates that I wanted to bring into this video, and now let's go ahead and get right into this topic. So we've talked about when the trailer will drop, we've theorized about that, we know that it's probably gonna come out sometime in the next week's time. It probably would have come out already because they dropped that Bad Woman trailer about two months before their release date, and The Flash is coming out about a month later then Batwoman, which is coming out in three weeks actually today, so that's exciting. We're going to be covering some Batwoman here on the channel when it premieres. And so, in terms of The Flash, what can we expect? Well, we know we're going to get this trailer very, very soon, next week or so, and we haven't really talked about the scenes and footage and what will be in there, so that's what we're going to be breaking down today. So, I will give you a breakdown of what to expect in terms of The Flash's first few trailers and promos for Season 7. Obviously, they're not going to just release like one trailer and that's it. They're going to be releasing multiple of these as we go ahead and get closer to that February 23rd release day. So, the first trailer, what to expect. So, we're going to be seeing this trailer which is going to be more of a promo, is going to be very short and it will showcase some footage from the first few episodes, like episode 1, 2, and 3. It will probably expand on the unfinished Eva slash Black Hole storyline, kind of like if you go back to the DC fandom trailer, mainly what it's about is Eva and them defeating Eva and grouping together to, you know, defeat this threat. And so they're going to do that by the end of episode 3, we know that for sure, because they're just finishing off those final three episodes that weren't able to air last season, Obviously, there's going to be some tweaks here and there, but apart from that, it's going to be sort of expanding on that DC fandom trailer. And so, maybe teasing in a little bit to do with what's more to come this season, i.e. footage not from episode 1 and 3, because I believe they shot up to episode 6 right now, so they have footage from that. I don't know how likely it is in the first little promo if they're going to show footage from those later episodes, but possibly in the next few, which we'll get to right now. So the next trailer after this, the second trailer, will probably also be another short promo released in, you know, like the week or so after that. Could be even closer than that, Batwoman did it like a few days later. So most of this is basing off of Batwoman's promotional release schedule because they are coming out a month before The Flash and it's the same company doing the release so obviously they're going to make it very very similar. So Batwoman started promoting about two months before during November and The Flash will do the same and then this next promo, this promo will have some of the same footage from that first promo like a week before that highlights the most important and most visual looking bits that they can include in the trailer and what they deem as interesting and what they deem can definitely sell and remind people, oh the Flash is coming back, look it's going to be like less than two months, Flash is back February 23rd, here is some footage, here is some cool footage. So I think they're going to include something to get us hyped and to get us excited and mainly to remind people that the Flash is coming back because it's been a long time, I think it ended in May and this is going to be February, so like nearly a year, you know, pushing on towards that. And although this year has gone very fast, it still is a long time when you look back at it. So there will be a few extra shots added into this second trailer, this second promo, but it won't be that different from the first one, because if you saw Batwoman's promo that dropped on the CW and wasn't released online, it was kind of leaked online, and then they released one on the CW's own YouTube channel, 
that was pretty similar, but it was a little bit of different footage. And so they may do a similar thing where they drop, you know, some promos exclusively on the CW. They sometimes do that and some people record it and then we get to see it online. But mainly the most important ones are going to be uploaded to the ZW's channel. Okay, so let's move on to the next and first big trailer we're going to get since DC Fandom for Season 7 of The Flash. This will be about a month and a bit before the release date. So, you know, two to three weeks after that first promo drops sometime at the start of January. So this will be roughly at the end of January or the start of February, I would say. This first big promo, this first big actual trailer is going to drop since DC Fandom because obviously that was one big trailer but it didn't hype up that much. We kind of knew what was going to happen. It would have been like the promo for the next week's episode but obviously circumstances changed and you know the end of season 6 became the start of season 7 so they have to obviously hint towards that because that's how they're starting this new season. But I think they're going to use some of the other episodes footage to hype it up because I think people are kind of expecting, you know, a step forward, you know, like a new story. People are a little bit tired of Eva, it seems like, and we want to sort of progress into the next big bad, you know, whether it's Godspeed or not, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, so what are they gonna include in this next big trailer? So this will tease a bit of the villain scenes, like I said, with Eva, but also potentially, you know, the villains to come, like maybe we will see a little bit of Abracadabra or Bloodwork sometime in this bigger trailer. I reckon there will also be some flashback scenes to some of the season 6 stuff and you know the start of episode 1 where they will just continue where they ended so I think we we're gonna catch up with Ira somewhere in these trailers because we don't know what happened to her at the end of the season she kind of disappeared turned into this kind of spectacle of a mirror I don't know what to class it as or say it as but some weird freak occurrence happened to her and basically it seemed like she was transported elsewhere in the mirrorverse. So I reckon we're going to continue on from where we left a bit. And then it's going to show how the new season starts obviously. We're going to see some action slash running shots with Barry. Maybe some stuff to do with him rapidly losing his speed. So that's pretty much a sure occurrence in any of these trailers. You know, anticipating what's going to happen in terms of the action, in terms of some of the storylines. And basically what to expect when heading into the new season. Pretty much as the title of this video says, that is exactly what the trailer is there to do. To get you hyped, to remind people the Flash is coming back and that is going to be a big thing. So they're going to try and make it as rememberable and as impactful as they can. And so maybe among all these other scenes that I've mentioned, we could be getting some stuff like what I talked about in my recent videos. If you want to go check them out, they're in the link in the description below or they're just the last two videos on my channel. And that is to do with the speed force and how he's going to create this new speed force, this artificial speed force whilst regaining his speed force powers, whether it's, you know, how it's meant to be or if it's completely artificial and they're kind of copying the reverse flash or something like that. So yeah, maybe we'll get some teasers to do with that because that's going to happen pretty early on this season. He's going to get his powers back for sure. And I reckon there's going to be a little bit of Wells stuff like we saw in the DC fandom trailer. It was a tiny bit of Wells. I don't think they're advertising it as a Harrison Wells episode Although it is a Harrison Wells heavy episode, episode 1 that is, because that was supposed to be just like a normal filler episode as they headed towards the penultimate and the final episode of last season. So yeah, that is what it's going to be. It's going to be a Wells heavy episode, but obviously they have time to change it a bit so it's less Wells and it's more to do with everyone. Because I think they want to kind of make it more like a premiere, even though it is going to be like Wells centric. At the same time, I think they're going to add in some stuff and re-edit it so it feels more like a premiere, so there's a bit more Barry than maybe they intended originally, like some stuff with him running around, maybe to do with the speed force, but yes, what next? Alright, so the next thing after that is bit by bit, we will get more and more in terms of news, in terms of promotion, like posters, photos, behind the scenes stuff, interviews from the cast members, and eventually as we head to the week of release, we will get sneak peeks and we will get even more promos as we get even closer because they want to keep up the hype, they want to advertise it properly so people will remember, oh wait, The Flash is coming back, oh yeah, I love The Flash, I haven't watched it since last May, I barely thought about it since last May, in some people's cases, not ours obviously, for all of you who are watching, 
you obviously remember The Flash, but for those regular viewers out there who watch on the CW and stuff, they need a reminder, and they're going to be dropping those trailers online and on the CW as well, for those people who aren't aware of the February 23rd release date. Well, we're going to be making videos up right until then, and obviously when the first episode hits, we're going to be reviewing it, breaking it down, and talking about episode 2's trailer as per normal with trailer breakdowns weekly and and episode reviews weekly which i will be doing at the start of batwoman season because that is the first dc tv show to come back and i think you guys even if you aren't so into batwoman season one i think a lot of you are going to give season two a chance because it's going to be very different and also is going to be like a completely new show i think that is the most important thing also it is the first show to come back so i think everyone is pretty much going to tune into it so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.